All right, so let's look at this one. Let's determine the magnitude of the moment of this force, 400i, 200j, 250k, about the OA axis. So I want the moment about an axis. So I write my equation here. The magnitude is u dot r cross f. All right. And then I just look closely. So this is the mac moment about axis OA. So this is u of OA. And this r needs to go from the axis to the force. Here we go right here. So let's break this up into three bite-sized problems. Right? Let's, what is focus on what is the u of the axis that I'm interested in calculating the moment about. Uh, let me find what is the r that goes from the axis to the force, and then what is the force written as a vector. And I don't expect this on the test, but they, they just gave you this force already written as a vector. Awesome. Great. Check mark. Right. Got that. But now you should be careful. Uh, you should be able to handle dimensions. We do dimensions a lot, but also uh, spherical angles and corner direction angles um, you should be able to break any force into its vectors, right? Write it as a vector. But this one, uh, we're given to it to us on a silver platter. Go ahead and check that off because we've got it right there. 400i minus 200j plus 250k. All right, so what is the u? All right, so this is the magnitude of the moment about the OA axis. So this is the u of OA. Uh, and so th this is kind of an imaginary. Now, sometimes... The axis is pretty clear on the figure. Sometimes it's kind of a, a, a undefined, kind of an imaginary axis. So this would be the axis if there was some sort of axis about that. So uh, just, you know, see what the problem statement asks for and just, just go with it, right? Draw that OA axis. And so this one right here would be... Um, Point three. Oh, okay, sorry. The U. What is the U? The U is the R over R. Uh, but this is different from this R. This is the U of OA. OA. What's the position vector from O to A? What's the position vector from O to A? How far does it go in the X? Point 0.3 in the X. Point 0.4 in the J. Nothing in the K. Point 0.3 squared. Point 0.4 squared. Square root. Uh, so the U would be... Uh, 0.6i plus 0.8j. All right. Why did I divide this by its magnitude? Because the equation calls for a u, right? And u's, we divide by their magnitude to get it to be a magnitude of 1 and to get it to be dimensionless because that's the definition of a unit vector. Unit vectors are dimensionless and they have a magnitude of 1. All right. So there we go. There, There's my u. Now, what's a good r? Sometimes you have different options. This can go anywhere on the axis to anywhere on the line of action of the force. Um, sorry, let me draw that back. Anywhere on the axis to anywhere on the line of action of the force. Now, I don't really have any options on this line of action. The only point that I know the force is acting is B. So I could go from O to B or A to B. Right? I could go from O to B or A to B. I think it makes perfect sense to just go from A to B. And it's got to go start here and go to the force. Got to start at the axis, go to the force. What would that be? Negative 0.2 in the K. Negative 0.2 in the K. Don't divide it by its magnitude. Leave it. It needs dimensions. So there's my R. All right, I think I'm ready. I think this math is not going to be too hard. All right, now I'm ready to get the magnitude of my moment about the OA axis would be, across the top, what do I put? I put the U, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and nothing in the K. Then I put the R, let me be careful there, it's just point, negative 0.2 in the K, so 0, 0, negative 0.2. And then the force that was just given to me up here, 400 in the I, negative 200 in the J, 250 in the K. So here. All right. So this uh, 0.6 times that minus that. Uh, let me be careful here. So times 0 times 250 uh, minus negative 0.2 times negative 200. Man, there's so many opportunities to miss out on a negative or just to make a mistake. 
So negative, 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 that's, that's going to be a negative uh, value for that one. And then minus 0.8 times that minus that, so this would be 0, minus negative 0.2 times 400. And then in green, this last one, well, it doesn't matter what this was because I multiply it times a negative, uh, so that's going to be zero. And they get this, this, this value, and we would get that the magnitude of the moment about the OA axis is negative 88. Came out negative, but it looks like an absolute, absolute value. This isn't really an absolute value per se. It just tells me magnitude, magnitude. All right, and this negative just means it is not rotating about the OA axis. Um, it's going the other direction. So using my right hand rule, if I thought it was rotating, this would be a this would over would be a positive rotation about the OA axis. It's actually going back that way, which I think I could kind of the way it's drawn could have figure that and could have guessed that but it, leave it right there box that in leave your negative if it is negative leave your negative if it is negative all right and let me just go back and double check this asks for the magnitude of the moment so i leave it like that sometimes if it asks for the moment then i would have one more step and i would take uh, this magnitude and multiply it times u OA, right? I would take this negative 88 and multiply it times U of OA 0.6.8 IJ and then multiply that through. I think we'll do that next problem. Um, but anyway, if it asks for the total, the moment about the axis, then I've got one more step, multiply it times U. But this one doesn't ask for that. Forget I said that. We'll see that next problem. Box that in. If your answer comes up negative, leave it negative. Box it in. Units. Got to have units. Correct units on your problem.